Hey, welcome guys. In this video, I'm doing a review of the Sony WH-1000XM3 wireless noise cancelling headphones. Now, it is priced at $350 US and $450 Canadian, which is very pricey, but continue listening and you'll understand you're paying for amazing quality. Now, there's great connectivity options as it provides Bluetooth connectivity and a port for regular headphone jack listening, which is very surprising. For Bluetooth, I tested it across my basement to my office and the range I was able to reach was about 39 feet with no walls in between until the sound started to cut off slightly. To protect your investment while traveling, a hard traveling case is included with a 3.5 millimeter headphone cable, measuring at about four feet, an adapter for plane connectivity, and a USB-C cable for recharging. However, this USB cable is of poor length as it's only measuring at about six inches long. Now over on the headphones, the top band is soft, making it very comfortable, even for people that have, well, no hair at all, if you want to use them. Helping with the comfort level is the adjustability as the ear cups can rotate a variation of ways. The extension can get pretty lengthy and the flex is pretty decent. As for the ears, it does help that the cushions is rather thick, soft, and your ears fit in the cups whereas traditional headphones have cushions on the ear because these are over-the-ear headphones. Wear them constantly for about five hours. Yes, you heard me, even with my glasses on, didn't cause any irritation at all. Now going back to the point that they're over-the-ear type, that makes them a little bit bigger than the usual headphones, but for their size, they're surprisingly light. There's one thing to keep in mind is that they feel a tad bit fragile, especially at this price point, but these are high-end, so you should be careful with them anyway. It's only available in two color options, black and gray, which are pretty simple colors. So to add to this simplicity, there are only two physical buttons. On the left side is a button for power. Holding it for two seconds powers it on. Now holding it for seven seconds while it's powered off, we'll turn it on and enable Bluetooth pairing mode. The second button is for noise cancellation, and ambient mode, which will kind of cycle through. While the headphones are on, if you press and hold the noise cancellation button, it'll cycle through a sound optimization scan. It's also on the left side where you'll find the headphone jack port. On this same side is an NFC chip, so if you have something that, such as an Android device with an NFC chip, tapping it will Bluetooth pair it instantly. On the right side is all touch-based controls. Swiping forward skips a track, swiping back goes to the previous track, swiping up increases volume, swiping down decreases volume. Double tapping the middle plays or pauses a track, or picks up or hangs up a phone call. I had a concern about the touch controls accidentally playing or pausing a track while taking the headphones off, but it never really happened, thankfully. So I want to go over the unique sound features available on these headphones. So bear with me a minute. So the first, by default, every single time you turn on these headphones is noise cancelling mode. Uh, what this basically does is has microphones on and it listens for noise around you. It takes that noise sound and sends a negative opposite type of sound to your ears. That's how you get the noise cancelling feature. It's a very summarized version of how to explain it. Um, while you're listening in noise cancelling mode, it actually is fantastic. It's one of the best I've ever heard, even compared to some Bose headphones. And the music quality doesn't get lost at all. It's amazing. It's truly uh, one of the best noise cancelling headphones I've ever used. Now, while in this mode, I get about 30 hours of usage, which is what Sony advertises. Now, the next mode is ambient mode. So what this basically does is those microphones will purposely broadcast the sound around you into the headphones. The reason I could think Sony did this is because these are over the ear headphones. So when you put them on, even without turning the power on, a lot of the sound around me gets muffled. So let's say I want to hear what's happening around me while listening to music on purpose. Well, that's what ambient mode is for. The quality was so good of ambient mode that even sitting in my office leather chair, I actually could hear the crinkle of the wrinkle in my chair. I was extremely impressed about this. It's phenomenal quality. So in this mode, I, again, I clock in about 30 hours of usage. So here's a quick trick uh, while in noise cancelling mode. So while I'm in a plane and a flight attendant is coming over to take my order, I have noise cancelling mode on. I want to listen to what they have to say. So all I have to do is cover up the right side of the headphones. It disables noise cancelling mode and it enables ambient mode. So I can listen to everything around me very easily and I can have that conversation with the flight attendant. In addition, it also lowers the volume of the music or a movie, whatever I'm listening to. So you quickly have that conversation and when you're done, you just let go of it and it switches over to noise cancelling mode immediately. Like this is within a second of doing it. It's, it. it's really fast and incredibly convenient. The last mode is just ambient mode off. They act like just plain old regular headphones. No noise cancelling, no exterior noise, nothing, just plain old headphones. And I was able to clock in about 35 hours of usage, which is more than Sony's advertised. The only reason I can think of that is because the microphones aren't doing any work. It's just the speakers inside and that's it. 
So in terms of comfort, there's one thing I want to go over, and that's when you place it on your neck. They're not the most comfortable. In fact, they're a little bit irritating. It, the headphones are rather large because they're over the ear type, which is expected. So just putting it here, talking to somebody, it's fine. Turning my neck, it really kind of digs into my neck and into my shoulder blade right up here. Um, so that's a little bit annoying. The most annoying thing is putting my head down. It, it's incredibly annoying. The, the headphones kind of get wobbled around, they get in my way, I can't look down at all. I have to kind of fix it, then look down. I don't know why they're this tight. A Sony could have loosened them even like maybe an inch or two, and that's all the space I need. So just be wary of that, not a big deal, but it is a little bit annoying. So let's go back to the USB-C cable and recharging. Now it takes about three hours to recharge these headphones. Now, in addition to the poor length of the USB-C cable, to make things even worse, there's actually no power adapter included in this box. Sony expects you to recharge this through a computer. Theoretically, you could take something like an Android power adapter and charge it through a wall outlet, but if you have a fast recharging brick, it's possible it could blow up the headphones, and these are very expensive, so I recommend not taking that chance. Considering the amazing battery performance though, if you take into consideration, charging these for 30 minutes on a computer should give you roughly 3 hours of playback time. It is possible to take calls on these headphones since they have microphones, and people on the other end have said it sounds decent, but it's easy to tell them on a headset. It sounds like I'm a little bit distant from the microphone I'm speaking into. And it's a little easy to notice background noise if you're somewhere noisy, for example. Now let's break down sound quality. Listening to music is amazing. For the sake of this review and your reference, I sacrificed my hearing and blasted it to max volume. At that level, I noticed no quality loss, no sound cracking, just pure listening bliss. Bass, mids, and highs are all equally matched and just sound perfect. If you happen to have these headphones, listen to the music video for Power Glide on YouTube. Listening to the cars passing by at the beginning of the music video felt like I was actually in the cars. As for watching TV like sitcoms, there's nothing special here as it's just, well, plain old people talking. But if you're watching something like sports and when the fans cheer in a stadium, it sounds like you're actually at the stadium. As for movies and video games during action sequences, it sounds phenomenal. Now you do have the ability to have Google AI Assistant sync with this if you have an Android device, for example, although it works absolutely poorly because you have to sync it with the Sony headphones application, which constantly loses connection. So I actually recommend you just avoid this feature altogether. And yes, you can also sync it with Siri, but again, it has disconnection issues as well. So I'm not sure what else I can tell you about these headphones, except that they're truly amazing. I mean, you should have got that point already from the video. Um, for the most part, they sound amazing, noise cancelling is amazing, ambient mode is amazing, the quick noise cancelling mode off to ambient mode in uh, airplane for example, if you're listening to a parent when they're telling you something quickly, it, it's just all around amazing. Sony really try to think of everything possible with these headphones. Truly worth the investment, it's pricey but it's really definitely worth it. Overall, great headphones. Fantastic, definitely worth checking out. So I hope you guys found this video useful. Be sure to check out my social links in the video description. Hit that like button, it does help. Subscribe and thanks for watching.